What do you do when things are just not working for you? I mean, you have goals that you want to reach, but these roadblocks just conveniently pop up. How are you supposed to keep going? You see, these questions are an expression of the emotion I felt from the pre-PT student that have been asking me to help them with the application. These guys are lost, they are discouraged, and they are overwhelmed. Whether you're a physical therapy student or a full-fledged physical therapist, you definitely experience this emotion. You can relate. I mean, you had a good run last semester, but for some reason, things are just working differently now. Your grades are dropping, you're making stupid mistakes when you're practical, and the workload just keep adding up like you got extra time to spare, right? You're a physical therapist, and you've been working at this job for a while, but for some reason, you are just not growing. You haven't noticed any significant progress since when you started. You know, what helped me what helps me when I get into these situations, what helps me when I start feeling like this, I try to remember why I do the things I do in the first place. What was it that inspired me to become a physical therapist? What was my motivation? And then I remember one of my former students. You see, after I graduated, I became a teaching assistant at this school and I was primarily working with this kid who had cerebral palsy, and I've grown to admire this kid over the course of the three years I worked there. You see, way before I met him, he could not walk for a long period of time because of weakness in his lower extremity. I have seen tapes of this kid on a stroller during birthday parties. I mean, they used the stroller so much that it became like a tool to motivate him to go outdoors. The stroller was his primary means of ambulation. And then after years of physical therapy and adjustment in orthotics, this kid is now running to class. I mean, I'm not kidding. I literally had to run after him because he looked like he was about to fall every time he ran. He went from being on a stroller to being a member of the cheerleading squad at the school. He's taking classes that he couldn't take before, like mobility classes. His whole perspective is changing because of the new opportunities available to him now. And then one day I was walking him to class, well, more like I was running with him to class, and I remember thinking to myself, oh my God, like, this kid's whole life just changed simply because he's moving more. And that's when it hit me. You know, I could use physical therapy as this platform to change people's life, similar to how this kid's lives got changed. I mean, all my life I wanted to help people, but after seeing how big of an impact PT can have on somebody's life, you know, everything just clicked. Everything suddenly made sense to me. My personality, my lifestyle, all of a sudden blended well with PT. And I knew right and then, that's what I wanted to do with my life. Changing people's lives. To physical therapy, changing people's lives through movement. That's what keeps me going. That's my drive. That's my passion. Now, what about you? Suddenly, you want to quit because you're having a rough time getting accepted into PT school? Remember why you're trying to become a physical therapist in the first place. You have this dead end job and you feel like you're not impacting life like you want to? Remember why you became a physical therapist. Find that fire within you guys, that why factor. Find that passion. And I do hope it's strong enough to keep you going. Strong enough to make you realize that your current job is not helping your growth. And now it's time to move on. Find that fire. Because without it, there is no light to your path. And you just can't keep going like this. And once you have that, you realize it's the one thing that keeps you going, especially during those rough times.